hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video I'm absolutely excited for today's recipe I will be sharing with you how to make this amazing high growth spray for extreme high growth now this spray only contains two amazing ingredients and also ingredients that are very easy to find yet it is a very very effective at helping you grow longer healthier and thicker hair now you will start to notice results after the first application now this play is absolutely amazing I will suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information now let's hop right into the video the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some whole cloves now I got mine from Tesco's if you're in the UK you know what this is but if you're in other parts of the world you can check it in your regular store or perhaps check Amazon so I used about a handful of that pop that in the bowl now we're going to go in next with our second ingredient which will be some cinnamon stick now it is absolutely fine to use cinnamon powder if that's what you have um, for this as well so I put a whole cinnamon stick in there now I'm pouring some hot water to this guys and I'm just going to allow it to sit and infuse for a few hours um, just so that I can get all of the goodness out of this so this is what it looks like a few hours later now you can actually infuse this overnight as well if you want to or even for three to four days so that you can get a more intense color to this now I'm going to get into the benefits of each one of these ingredients in a little bit so I'm just removing my cinnamon stick here guys and I'm putting it in this little container because I will use it for my next DIY um, so don't throw it away if you're using a whole stick just like I did here so I'm just pouring the whole thing into my sieve just so I can sort of you know uh, sieve it pretty much and this is what is left behind this very nice goldish um, liquid that is so so full of nutrients now I'm going to go in next with my essential oils now essential oils are extremely beneficial for high growth because it helps to increase the blood flow to your scalp and essentially cause more nourishment to your follicles so I'm using peppermint essential oil and tea tree essential oil now the other benefit of tea tree essential oil as well is that it's got antimicrobial properties so really really good for a clean healthy scalp so I added a few drops of that stir that in and then I'm just transferring it to my spray bottle so that I'm pretty much ready to use now I'm going to get into the benefits of each one one of this ingredient guys just so you know exactly what this is going to do for you now cloves are absolutely amazing for hair growth because essentially it just helps to um, improve the blood circulation to the scalp and essentially provides your follicles with more oxygen and also more nutrients in order to promote healthy high growth so it's absolutely beneficial for high growth now the next ingredient that we used earlier was cinnamon sticks now cinnamon sticks also has amazing properties such as increasing again the blood circulation to the follicles and encouraging the growth of new strands now also it has a very very uh, amazing antimicrobial properties which again just means that it helps to prevent buildup on the scalp of you know bacteria and stuff like that that can cause dandruff fungal infections and essentially hair loss so cinnamon is also one of those amazing ingredients that you can add to your GIs now and again to reap some amazing benefits now in today's I mean in this part of the video guys I'm showing you how I'm applying this to my hair so I will be using it as part of my moisturizing routine so instead of using water just to wet my hair first I will be using this so you want to go ahead and spray this to your scalp and massage just so you can see here guys I'm doing now massaging your scalp again just helps with blood circulation so this whole thing in combination with scalp massages trust me it's literally the best after using it for at least a few days you will start to notice that your hair is getting thicker and also those areas where you're losing hair is starting to fill up so it's definitely worth giving it a go so after applying that to my scalp guys I'm also working it through the rest of my hair and then I'm gonna go uh, next with my 
um what's it called sort of leave-in conditioner now this part of the video guys i had already sort of done it uh, just so you can notice my hair sort of looks like it is almost detangled here um the reason why that is because i thought i was recording but i did not record uh, so it's later on that i did find out that i wasn't recording um so i just thought i would show you again basically the the process um uh, that i did for this part of my hair or this section of my hair so i just used that um, cream of nature um, leave-in conditioner but feel free to use any other leave-in conditioner that you have available and then i'm using one of my diy butters just so i can seal the moisture in my hair so when you're doing this guys remember your ends your ends are usually the driest and the oldest part of your hair and the part that's most likely to break so you want to make sure that you also moisturize that part um yeah really really well so after i finish that i'm just using my white comb just to comb it out and essentially get rid of the shed hair so once that's all done i'm gonna go ahead now and just twist and then sort of move on to the next section now i'm just showing you guys here, here how i'm pulling my shed hair out i did already pull some of the shed hair out of this anyways uh, like i said guys i just realized i was not recording but in the next uh, part, you will get to see exactly like the full process. So this is what my hair looks like post uh, dip conditioning it guys um, I think I shared the video with you guys where I was doing my uh, dip conditioning sort of routine I think it was using oats I left it in my hair overnight and then I rinsed it off in the morning and this is what my hair looks like after that treatment a week later now I didn't really get the chance to um, seal in the moisture in my hair as I do normally um, after using my dip conditioner because I was just just a bit busy so it's quite normal that my hair feels a bit dry at the moment but I just love the fact that it's got so much shine like the shine in this is crazy and when my hair is in good health and also like in good shape like not dirty it looks extremely black and I really really like that uh, but it's definitely in need of some sort of moisture because it does feel very very dry so I'm sort of finger detangling here first uh, that's just to make it a bit easier for my comb to get through I tend to do this to prevent you know knots and sort of dangling my hair even more when I'm combing it out um, now if you normally finger detangle I'll suggest that you just do that and don't use a comb but I tend to uh, properly detangle once a month using a comb or a brush just so i can get all of the shed hair out of my hair but if i need to do anything else uh, within the month i would normally just finger detangle because i already properly detangled my hair once if that's what makes sense it's just to sort of minimize too much manipulation and essentially cause breakage so after i finish finger detangling just so you can see here i'm just going ahead and using the spray so i'm just going to spray that to my roots uh, just like I said earlier guys so as I'm spraying I'm also massaging just to make sure that my um, it so, sort of absorbs into my hair and also to, I'm trying to stimulate more blood flow to my scalp to essentially help you know with general health and also hair growth now I know somebody's going to wonder how often to use this I would suggest that you use it twice a week for maximum results now if you can't use it twice a week is fine once a week is okay as well i used to moisturize my hair like twice a week but recently i've been slacking a bit so once a week or sometimes once every two weeks is what i do but i would not recommend that you do that um just because leaving your hair dry for a long time is not very healthy guys so uh, you want to moisturize as much as you can because that essentially will help you retain length over time as well so after i spray that to my roots as you can see i'm moving to the rest of my hair including my ends now i'm using a leave-in conditioner here this one is the cream of nature 
um, leave-in conditioner but feel free to use any other leave-in conditioner that you have now if you're looking to wash this out of your hair because you can do if you're not if you don't want to leave it in you can certainly wash it out then you may not necessarily have to use the leave-in conditioner um, so you may just spray that to your hair let it sit for a while and then just go ahead and rinse it off but I will be using this as you know um, moisturizing routine pretty much so instead of using water I would sort of use this because it has more benefits than just use a sim simple like simple water so I'm also using my um, DIY sort of butter here I did show you guys how to make this before just to seal the moisture in my hair now you want to make sure that you moisturize your ends guys because it's the driest and the oldest part of your hair and the part that's most likely to break so after I've done that I'm just sort of combing it again um, just making sure I get sort of all of the knots and tangles out and all of the shed hair and then I'm going to go ahead and twist and move on to the next section um, pretty much now I've been loving how my hair looks recently like my hair is very nice and thick you probably I mean you can't feel it but anytime I touch my hair I can definitely feel that it has got a lot thicker um, and also it just looks a lot shinier and darker as well so I definitely definitely love the way that my hair is looking like the only thing that I don't really like about it right now is just the ends the ends definitely do need trimming but I'm just waiting to actually go to the salon and get it done, you know, professionally and properly. I also want to get my hair like straightened just so I can see my full length and essentially yeah, get like a proper trim. Now, if you're interested in seeing this, let me know in the comment section down below so that if I go ahead and do it, I'm going to record it for you guys. Um, yeah, so let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like that. So this is pretty much it for today's video guys. I can't show you how I do the rest of my hair because otherwise the video will be very long. Now I'm showing you guys what my greys look like. I feel like it's got my greys are getting worse by the day. Like I don't know. I look like I was 50. Um, but yeah. Anyways this is it for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video which will be very soon. So thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.